So what is HEMA in 2023? What has become and uh, what it will become? Hello HEMA friends and welcome to this new video. Most of you know that HEMA is something in evolution, kind of a living experiment which is still defining itself in various forms and branches year by year. HEMA has born as a mean to recreate and bring back to life the ancient historical fighting methods recorded by ancient fencing masters in books and collections of notes which nowadays we generally refer to as manuals. Since the very beginning, HEMA has evolved a lot, in many different ways. But there is something which dramatically increased the speed of this process. I am talking about the decision of adding sparring as a tool to test our techniques in a non-collaborative environment. It is something that had a huge, unexpected repercussion. It brought to the desire of fencers to test their skills against each other in a fair environment. This gave birth to a tournament environment which has grown more and more during the years. And now, in 2023, the majority of the countries in which HEMA is practiced have a variety of different tournaments, varying in terms of rule sets, numbers of participants and average skill level. The tournament scene has grown so much that while other HEMA environments are still there, the focus of the practice has for many people leaned more and more toward the competitive side. And while the sources are still kept in higher regards by the many, reinventing the wheel over and over and over again seems to have lost its magic if compared to the more simple and straightforward learn from the structure, train, compete. So has HEMA lost its original goal while moving in this direction? Well, as someone who experienced many practices and had many goals throughout his HEMA career, I can say that, funny enough, HEMA has simply walked and is still walking the only available path. You see, there are only two kinds of, let's call them, martial practices nowadays. Martial arts and combat sports. While the names aren't clear in uh, what they refer to, simply because some combat sports sees themselves as martial arts, the line which divides these two worlds is, by my point of view, crystal clear, and uh, has one name, sparring. Sparring is what, if introduced in a martial art environment, transforms it into a combat sport. The motivation is simple. A new fighting environment, with its own peculiar necessities, arises, which is the sparring itself. Every component of it defines how the sparring is done, be it equipment, safety rules, techniques allowed, stop after hit or not, and so on. Every sparring environment creates a new, unique environment in which people specialize. This, by the way, is true today, as it was in the past. The arise of a new, peculiar environment, with its own rules, created new needs. And so, the fencing practice ended up leaning toward satisfying those needs. A natural and sensible process. The tournament formalizes this process and adds a third part, the judge which makes things even more complex and uh, adds another huge variable to the already almost impossible to calculate the result of what the new fencing required will tend to be. This process, which I just briefly described so to not bother you for hours and hours, is what brought Hima back to life. At first, like archaeologists, we found the sources and worked on them in the most precise and unbiased way as possible. Then we tried to put this knowledge at test with sparring. Sparring asked for safety measures, safety measures asked for adaptation and adaptation required thinking. 
and thinking found out the way to use the manual's knowledge into sparring. But the manuals weren't enough, and so people started looking around for more. Cross-training, books, courses. Tactics came into play. Psychology. A new awareness of what combat in all its form asks for started to arise. And so the wheel started to move forward once again. As it was in the past for two manuals, 50 years apart from each other, teaching different concepts to achieve different goals, the same is for him on our days, with a thriving new flame of life at its core, fueled by the ever-changing necessities of combat, just as it always has been. So, what is HIMA in 2023, and uh, what will it become? Well, actually, everything depends from you. Train hard, study, spar, compete, do your best. But never forget the sources. They are our starting point and our main coordinate in space and time. Don't keep the book on the shelf too much. Read it every now and then. It will never stop giving you ideas. At the same time, don't search every answer in them, or you will easily get stuck. Hima today will never be as yesterday and tomorrow will be different too. The variables are so many, you are one of them too. Fight hard, search for challenges, find solutions, keep our fighting arts alive once again. Very good people, I hope you found the video interesting in some ways. Remember that if you want to help the channel grow up, you can do it by joining my Patreon community, link in the description, and of course, by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and uh, as always, see you next time.